Hello again everyone, it is Vinciuta, and in this video, we're going to talk about a sandwich I call the Sandwich of Lies. Well, that's right. Get this oriented right. The McRib. Looks like Daddy's bringing home the barbecue. A big sack of McDonald's McRib sandwiches. Grilled pork and that sassy sauce. Tempting, huh? Like a barbecue in a bun without the bones. And with a big icy coke, it's where you're only human on Daddy Chone. The good time, great taste <laughs> of McDonald's McRib for a limited time, only at McDonald's. Now, this isn't going to be a video where I'm just hating on the McRib for the most part. But it is a sandwich of lies, and we're going to detail those lies. And in detailing those lies, we're going to unpack the very nature of of the McRib. Lie number one. The McRib is going away forever. Actually, that's the lie that's driving this video because they've been really hitting it hard this year, McDonald's has. Can you really live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? Well, you have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. Bye, 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 bye. You know, here, check out this sign outside the McDonald's where I bought my McRib. That's a heck of a message right there. Eat it like it's your last? Like, is, is this sandwich so bad that they think it's going to kill me? I mean, that probably happens to a certain number of people. I mean, you have any number of accidental choking to death kind of things. You just happen to be eating a McRib and then you have a heart attack or something. But, I mean, it shouldn't be an expectation for the general population. Eat it like it's your last. Have they been studying the Garabandal prophecy and they've noticed that the Pope's thinking about going to Moscow? Speaking of Moscow, are they just feeling really negative about current world events? Speaking of prophecy, do they think that the second coming is imminent? Which, I'm totally down with that. That would, that would be some cool stuff, you know? Thy kingdom come. It's not like we're not asking for it all the time. Generally speaking, when the McRib comes back, and it always leaves, and it always comes back, that's when pork prices are low. That's when you should go out and stock up on ham and stuff like that. Because McRib is out, that means pork is cheaper. So, does McDonald's think that pork prices are never going down again? Or any prices are ever going down again? Certainly, maybe I think you can't afford this. I mean, you know. Because I was going to make this video, I picked up uh, McDonald's for the family. And, you know, we should a couple Happy Meals and some chicken nuggets. And you got a couple McRibs in there. And now they say, we're talking like $56 for McDonald's. I know some places I could get some really good pizza for that. Not a lot of it. But still, I could get some good pizza for that. At any rate, I am still estimating that this is a lie. There will be another McRib someday. Perhaps this batch of McDonald's, you know, executives are saying, that's it, we're going to get rid of it forever. We're never bringing back the McRib for this reason, X reason, Y reason, Z reason. But somewhere down the road, after they've all taken their golden parachutes and gone off, some new up-and-coming person is going to say, you know what? We need to kickstart the menu a little bit, and I've got the plan. Where are pork prices at? They're low? McRib. Lie number two. That it's made of rib. What would you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib sandwich. It's a new kind of cue. McRib? I don't see any bones. Hey, who wants bones in a sandwich? Now, this is one of the best known, like, everybody knows that the McRib has no rib in it. It's made of processed pork shoulder, which is not a bad thing. I mean, you know, it's pig. It's still part of the pig. If they call it the McPig, you'd be dead on honest. But they call it the McRib. And let, let's take a look at the rib here. Okay, do you see anything that looks like rib meat here? Do you see anything that looks like pretty much anything here? I mean, they, they, they're trying to give it kind of a... A rib. I think they're still using the old rib stamper there, but this didn't look like it was stamped particularly well. I remember it being a little bit more defined back in my youth. Maybe that's just age. I also remember more sauce. Is there? Where's the sauce? That's all the. Did they sneeze a little sauce on this for us? What's the? Don't do, do you remember these being dunked in sauce and being really? You find me. Rib in the middle is swimming in sauce. 
So I feel like I have to add my own sauce here. Which is kind of you know, not the point. That's a lie that pretty much everyone accepts. We know it's not a McRib. There's not a rib thing. It's they're, they're using the rib name there because it's barbecue. They could call it the McBarbecue, the McPork, the McPiggy, the McBarbecue Piggy, the McBarbecue Piggy Yum Yum. No, it, whatever you want to do, but it's it, there's, it's not rib. We all know this. And lie number three. The McRib is the best thing ever and you must have one. I mean, it's not a bad sandwich. I mean, the bread's okay. I mean, this mine needs a little bit more sauce. That might be just, you know, restaurant to restaurant variation. But I mean, if you really want the flavor of McRib, all you need to do is get yourself a couple pieces of bread, put some barbecue sauce on it, get a couple pickles and a couple onions, and you could do a vegetarian version of it pretty handily. If you really need meat, you could probably get away with spam. Tell you what, if we get 100,000 likes on this video, I will make a video where I make a spam McRib and eat that on camera and we'll, we'll re-critique it and tell you how close it is. 100,000 likes. Let's go. But before I do that, I really should probably eat the darn thing on camera. Are we ready? All right. Let's, um, I'm holding this completely wrong. We're going to be eating it upside down. You really shouldn't do that. So let's flip this around a little bit so it's properly oriented. And we'll see here now. I'll try to bite the pickle part here first so that, you know, you have, you have, make sure you bite the pickle. Otherwise, you don't get the full McRib experience. bad needs more sauce I, I i think it needs my particular one needs more sauce but it's not bad it can taste pork it doesn't taste like you know styrofoam or something it tastes like a pork sandwich do i need to enjoy it as if it were my last um if this was my last yeah i'm okay i'm good with that i can live i can live with that that's i'm perfectly all right with that so I mean the fact that people kind of go, oh my God, it's McRib. It's a good sandwich. It's okay. You don't have to go crazy over. It. I don't hate it. I mean I'm gonna eat this. This is this is good. Oh, where are we at here? This is this is good enough. I mean this is. Mm, mm. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to denigrate your opinion. If you love the McRib, then you can knock the, knock the third lie off here. That's the greatest thing ever. But, you know, if you think it's the greatest thing ever, then I'm not going to take that away from you. But in the end result, it's just pork barbecue, pickles and onions. And there's a lot of really good ways to experience that in life. Let me tell you, it's just, there's a lot of good ways. A lot of good ways. The lies must work, though. The marketing must work. It must. It, it pulls you in. It gives you that panic that you're never going to experience it again. And then your brain thinks, what if it's something really incredible? I'm missing out on this, and I've got to try this. I've got to have a McRib. And, you know, works for me. I've got one in my hand. Because, you know, hey, what if you never get to taste it again? And I'm making this video to tell you, if for some reason, you have missed out and you've never had a McRib. This is something that you can recreate. It is not gone forever. The flavor of pig and barbecue sauce will never leave us. And you can always add some pickles and onions and you're right there. It's not a bad mix, but it's not not like they're making it out of unicorn or something like that. This is this is, you know, you can get this. Don't panic. Enjoy it if you can. If it's your kind of thing and you enjoy a McRib, go get a McRib. But if you haven't gotten a McRib, don't worry. This world has you covered. There's some, there's some pork out there. There's some really good barbecue. I'm sure you can have an even better experience beyond the McRib. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. For the record, my sons came out with a, a lot more sauce and a lot more pickles and a lot more onion. That just looks a heck of a lot better.